Welcome back, I am Captain Xavier, and it's Friday, and that means fan mail and Q&A, but first, an announcement. We are having a mod party tomorrow here, uh, kicking off at around 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we will be streaming some of it. I don't know how much of it, possibly all of it, who knows. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Hopefully it works. I have a new camera and a new laptop to run it here in my shop, so hopefully we won't have the horrible lag that happened the last time we tried it. But I make no promises. My shop was not exactly wired for high-speed internet. But uh, we're gonna give it a try anyway. There should be some big names here. Walcom, Out of Darts, The Curator, Barrett, me. Uh, so it should be a good crowd. Couple of other folks. All right, on to the Q&A and then to the packages. Darren Jacobson. Hi, Captain X. I recently picked up a clear Vulcan and was curious to know your opinions on using IMRs with it, with D-cell adapters. Of course, considering it uses a similar mechanism to the Stampede, just with added complexity for the belt, I figure it should work. I've heard Vulcans don't overvolt well, so how many IMRs would you use? I would use four. Uh, I have actually overvolted pretty much all of my Vulcans and they work beautifully. Uh, I have a a re remote transmitter and receiver setup that allows me to plug four, or actually five Vulcans into it and fire them remotely, and because of the delay in the switch when you're using IMRs, they fire in three round bursts, which is cool. Second question, is Stargarnet a type of corundum? No, uh, corundum is aluminum oxide, crystalline aluminum oxide, uh, and it includes things like uh, rubies and sapphires, which some of them do have asterism, but uh, garnet is actually uh, silicon oxide, uh, and the stars in garnets is actually uh, titanium oxide, which is partly why it's so hard. So that was a really cool question. Thank you for that. Mayan or Miss Butt. Do you ever plan to make a shoulder cannon out of the Dart Zone Enforcer? No, that thing is huge and bulky and awkward, and I don't think it would shoulder mount well at all. It would look kind of cool, though. Maybe undermounted on, like, uh, power armor. That would, that would look pretty wicked. Zero Box. Dear Captain, Ola, can I be on the next Q&A? Yes? Do you have an actual question, or was that your question? I love your beard, by the way. Pretty sure me and other fans would like to touch it. Well, that's... That's creepy. Yeah. Yeah, that's creepy. Sledge Striker. But the most important question everyone overlooks is, do you like trains? I do like trains. I believe train is the best form of transportation, and I wish there was a lot more rail transport here in the United States. Uh, they're working on light rail between Tacoma and Seattle. I don't believe it's gotten here yet, but that would be cool to be able to take a train up to Seattle and uh, spend a day at Pike's Place or something. But uh, for now, it's just... It, I, uh, we like our cars too much, which is ridiculous, because train is awesome. Tanya Steinrota. Hi, Xavier. I know you have uh, a simulation sickness, but have you ever played Metal Gear Solid? No. Also, you are really cool, and I look forward to seeing amazing mods. But double blades are practical. Look up fighters with stabs. Okay. Gabriel Sokolage, I'm pretty sure you had a question last time. Any thoughts on the regulator? Yes. They're cool, and I like them. I don't care what anybody says. I think they're awesome. I am so looking forward to modding this one to doing... Uh, see what can be done with it. Uh, stay tuned for that. Brian Kersey... Awesome stuff. Literally gassed out loud the same time you did. I have a Doomlands question for you. What are your thoughts on the Negotiator and does it have any mod potential? Well, it has about as much mod potential as any of the Hammer Prime Blasters, which is less than most of the other ones because of the mechanism. Just means you can, there's limited spring possibilities. And you can only put a certain amount of power in it because you have to be able to prime it with your thumb. Whereas rear prime blasters and front pump blasters, you can get a lot more uh, leverage and torque. Uh, but trying to do it with the Hammer Prime ones, eh, there's limits. I also do not like the shell. It's about three times larger than it needs to be. I like blasters that are streamlined, that can be easily holstered, that uh, don't take up a whole lot of room, whereas the Negotiator is enormous. Um, but if you're doing diesel punk or steampunk, that actually works out well. You can do some really cool things cosmetically, um, but... It's not for me. It's kind of a problem with the whole, a lot of the Doomlands blasters, is they're, they, they're too much wasted space in the design. 
Uh, that's the one thing I had against the the Lawbringer. It's it's got a lot of dead space and the uh, the Persuader, I think. Um, the way it's designed, the trigger guard actually pinches uh, my middle finger, which is just tragic. Because other than that, I really liked that one. But it's also way bulkier than it needs to be. Greetings, Captain. I am the Aussie Viking here with a few questions for you. First, what is your opinion on faux wood designs on blasters? I think they look cool if done well. A uh, number of nerf blasters actually have, you know, fake wood. The sling fire, the dominator, the, uh, the hammer shot all have it. And I've seen people who have done fake wood paint jobs that look gorgeous. Um, I've actually considered using real wood to replace the w fake wood parts on a couple of things. Um, Walcom's uh, Fearless Fire Thompson gun that he made to look like a rust Thompson gun. I'd like to make one that looks like an actual Thompson gun and you pretty much have to custom make wood uh, hardware for that, which I think would be awesome and a lot of fun. Second, which do you think would make for a better looking Bren gun? A rapid strike strife cut in half and reattached with the magwell on top or a deploy with the strife internals? Neither. The best Bren gun design I've seen was somebody took a uh, Raider magwell and put it on top of a strife, uh, which worked wonderfully. Um, of these two options, though, the, the rapid strike strife would be the way I would go because it looks like a modern AR uh, or you know receiver type, uh, whereas the deploy doesn't. So uh, getting it to look like a Bren gun cosmetically would be a lot easier with a strife. Uh, it's a lot easier to, you know, make a top-fed blaster using the deploy because it's already top-fed, but uh, the integration of putting a flywheel in it is a lot more complicated than just putting a, a magwell on top of a strife. So that's my thoughts on that. And finally, do you think Australia is really getting the short end of the deal when it comes to blasters? I'm referring to the variety, the lack thereof, and how they apparently tone down in terms of power. Yes, uh, I understand you can't get rival there at all. Uh, and I know there's other blasters that you're not able to get, and then the blasters you do get have to be uh, nerfed. They nerf the nerf before they send it to Australia so that it uh, meets... I don't actually know what requirements it is meeting. I assume it's a, a maximum FPS that's allowed, because I, I think you're not allowed airsoft or paintball either, but I could be wrong. I am, I'm not a lawyer in Australian law, uh, but that's the rumor that I've heard. Uh, and yeah, definitely I, I see you getting kind of the rough end of the deal uh, for stock. Obviously you can mod them just as well as anybody else and uh, if uh, the Nerf uh, community in Australia has shown anything they are incredibly good modders so uh, you know stock yes modded and no you're I think you're kind of leading in many ways there so. Uh, I absolutely love your channel I subbed the first time I saw Walcom's videos and thoroughly enjoyed fan mail of the K26 episodes as well as your thrifting videos. Well I will try to keep them up for you. <laughs> The Rambler! Have you read any of the new Jedi Order series? I don't think so. I've read some of the expanded universe uh, and some of the stuff that involved uh, the Solo children when they were much younger, but I don't think I ever got as far as the new Jedi Order. Uh, Carter Selby, would you ever make a Strife Centurior integration and make a video of it, or if you have, show it? I haven't, and I don't really intend to. Uh, I'm not a big fan of permanently integrating things onto Strifes. I prefer that they be kept modular because that's their thing. Uh, I'm more of a fan of integrating uh, something like a Rapid Strike because it's full auto, and since it's not as modular, it, it, it doesn't feel like you're taking away the modularity to, uh, to do that. If I ever got my hands on a totally messed up Centurion, I wouldn't be opposed to trying to make the back end of it uh, into a standard stock that can be attached to a Strife. That would be kind of cool. Chris Holder. Doze the other people that you nerf with, other than Walcom, have YouTube channels. Yes, I nerf with the Nerf Curator. He's got a, a YouTube channel, uh, an excellent one. He's got all the cool old stuff. Uh, and I nerf with uh, Brett, known as Beret. He sometimes wears a Beret. Uh, and he has some of the best war footage, uh, definitely better than any of the footage I've managed to make yet. I need to get a camera that's uh, as good as his. And I now nerf with Out of Darts, and he has an amazing YouTube channel, obviously. So, yeah, we've got some big names around here. It's, it's getting really fun to nerf in the Pacific Northwest. Marty Vainskanian. I am butchering your name. Hey, X, that's Captain X to you. But, of course, I can't pronounce your name, so <laughs> who am I to talk? 
I have a question. I have been wondering about for a while. I have uh, seen your shoulder-mounted Nerf gun videos and watched them a lot. If in your next Q&A you could answer like a brief description on how you made them, uh, it would be really appreciated as I want to incorporate something similar to that with my loadout. By the way, you are my favorite Nerf tuber and I would just... Uh, I just did my first mod, almost broke my hammer shot. Keep on nerfing Marty. Well, Marty, uh, each one of them could probably be a video in themselves, so trying to briefly go over them in a Q&A really going to work. Uh, I think I actually started doing the build videos and never got around to finishing them or posting them, uh, so I will try to get around to that. Most of them are fairly simple. It was just a matter of wiring the firing switch uh, into an audio jack so I could fire it using Iyer's lower trigger, uh, and then the, the mount was actually the more complicated part of the whole operation. So, I will try to get those done for you at some point. I make no promises to when, as I am insanely busy. JC, aka Poet, what type of lubricant do you prefer to use in your springers? I use a white lithium grease. A friend brought a tube by and left it here, and I've been using it ever since. Works great. Matt Clar, hey, Captain Xavier, you are my favorite nerf ch channel. I just have one question. Where do you find strifes nowadays? It's like trying to find a T-Rex is easier to find a strife. Thanks. Uh, last time I checked, uh, Kmart's website actually still sells them. Other than that, uh, I don't, actually. I stockpiled back when the rumors first started that they were going to be discontinued. Uh, I ordered a boatload of them off of Amazon when they went on sale there, and I've been hoarding them ever since. Uh, but I, even I'm starting to run out. Um, I haven't seen any at Goodwill in a while. I haven't seen a lot of them on Craigslist or OfferUp or... Uh, yeah, they're getting hard to find, but if they do... Uh, come back. Supposedly the rumor that they were getting discontinued was just a rumor and they were in fact just getting repackaged but I haven't heard absolutely one way or the other but I know I've seen them on Kmart's website for 20 bucks which is what they used to be so there you go. Gygax Eithelwine. That is an awesome name sir. Captain Xavier, what other hobbies do you enjoy besides nerf and swordplay? Do you do real steel shooting and were you a military man? I have a ridiculous number of uh, hobbies. I do uh, Legos, obviously, I've got that channel, video games, I make jewelry, I make armor, I make uh, steampunk leatherworking stuff. Uh, I do anything and everything that involves creation. I do a lot of, uh, I like writing sonnets, I like dancing, uh, especially swing dancing. Uh, I was on a ballroom dance team in college. Um, many, many, many hobbies. Uh, I do do real shooting. I have a t uh, long rifle. The tw uh, I do shoot real guns. I have a 22 long rifle and a 22 pistol and uh, an SKS. So, uh, hoping, hopefully, actually, us nerfers are going to go do some real shooting here in the relative future. So, uh, we we may video that. Who knows? Uh, no, I was never in the military. I broke my uh, ankle in 8th grade and uh, injured both of my knees during college and they wouldn't take me. I uh, also have a uh, very uh, uh, bad back, so um, I did actually briefly consider going in to the military f uh, as tech support, but you still have to f meet all of the usual requirements, and I couldn't, so uh, basically I'm 4F. Uh, Tristan Rowland? How much PSI can a Titan tank tank before it explodes? I'm the Fogger Study. In order to find that out, you'd have to put pressure into a tank until it exploded, and that would be both dangerous and a waste of a Titan tank. Uh, I'm probably going to find out, though, in the near future as I'm starting to get into compressed air uh, for... Uh, well, air compressors for loading my Titans. So we'll see how that goes in future videos. Best Emerald Miner. Who is your favorite Jedi and Sith? I'm actually still partial to Yoda, but only the crazy uh, Dagobah Yoda. Uh, the stuff from the newer stuff, I wasn't nearly as impressed with him, but I loved his, his crazy uh, old hermit stuff. Uh, and Exar Kun was my favorite Sith because anything with X in the name is cool! Jesse Nunez, do you like spinners? No. Uh, I've never really gotten into fad toys. Back when I was in elementary school it was snap bracelets were the big rage and then in uh, middle school it was pogs and I don't even remember what it was in high school because I couldn't be bothered. I do have my Lego spinner and I'm a big fan of it. But beyond that, uh, no, not really. Lego TD Minecraft Lover. Have you ever tried to mod the Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord Blaster? If you haven't, will you try? If I ever get my hands on one, absolutely. I don't have one. I've yet to see one in uh, Goodwill. Uh, and so, yeah. Um, 
If I ever find one, I would definitely mod it because I think it looks cool. Someone else actually recommended just taking two strifes and mounting them upper and lower and having, you know, two triggers to create one. I think that would actually be really neat. Alex Custom Guns. Hearing about your very unique name, what is the strangest name you have ever seen slash heard? The weirdest name I have seen was L-A-A, -A, pronounced Ladasha. That, I don't know. My mother works in labor and delivery floor, so I hear a lot of weird names. Um, I've heard of a few. I know somebody tried to name their kid For Real, the four being the number four, but uh, they were trying to do it, I believe, in Aus uh, New Zealand. And that sort of behavior is not allowed there. You have to give your, your children real names. Uh, I believe in Iceland, it has to be an Icelandic name. Uh, but the U.S. doesn't have those kinds of laws, so people can name their children ridiculous things. Um, Dweezil Zappa, that was always a favorite of mine. Um, Moon Unit. Technically, all of my brother and sisters have, you know, hippie flower children names, but they're not weird ones like dashes and stuff. Um, I haven't heard of any that have, like, special symbols, though. Uh, I've seen ones that have uh, clicks in them. So, you know, those type of things from uh, the Kosa language. But, um, yeah, that's about the weirdest I've ever heard of. And finally, Frisky Object. What is the difference between a master key and an underslung blaster? Um, well, a master key is a specific kind of underslung weapon. The term uh, is generally, in, in the real world, refers to shotguns that have been underslung. And they're called a master key because they're used to blow the door open, to blow the lock and the handle completely off the door to unlock any door, thus master key, because a master key is a key that can open any door. Um, in the Nerf world, it since we're not actually blasting um, doors open, it, it's a little bit more of a nebulous term. Uh, you could argue that it should only be things that either fire multiple rounds, like a shotgun does, or something that fires mega rounds, because that's a little bit more uh, like a slug for a shotgun. Um, but I'm not going to get after anybody for referring to their underslung Maverick as a master key. <coughs> you could definitely make an argument that that isn't truly a master key, because it's not a shotgun, but... Uh, it's not actually a real gun either, so as long as we know what you're talking about, it really doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so Master Keys technically are a specific kind of underslung blaster, but, uh, call it what you want. Alright! Hey! What? On to the packages! Now for the fan mail! I had one letter, but it wasn't actually fan mail. Uh, and a bunch of packages. So, let's get into the packages. I'm gonna start with the little one, because it intrigues me. It is... Oh, yeah. hey, look, a letter. Halo figurines. Alright. Dear Captain Xavier, Hello, my name is Josh. We have spoken before through email, but I know that you are busy and you have probably forgotten. So I've decided to send you a nice old-fashioned letter. I appreciate that. I've thought about the commission we've talked about, and I've changed it, but also I want to wait until sometime during the summer, because I don't want to pile more work on you. So I have been a fan of yours since I saw the video on Walcom's channel. I remember the day that I saw that you actually made a channel. I was so excited to see what sort of mods and things you would come up with. I've watched all of your videos as they come out, and I think you come up with awesome ideas, and always to combine things and make new blasters. I've also noticed how much you like to work on personal projects, so I've thought up a list, other page, of integrations that you might like. I know that you are all the way up in Washington, and I'm all the way down here in Texas, but I was wondering if there was any way we could meet up or anything like that, so I could learn how to mod from the best. And I think it would be fun to work on blasters together. Plus, I hope it won't cost too much because I only get $60 a month. But I am trying to get a job. Unless I can send money until the fee is paid, is that possible? Uh, I also have a new thing for commissions you can try. Ask your customers to give you a theme for whatever you're building to have a better idea of what to build. Well, generally, commissions are... You specifically tell me what you want, as opposed to me randomly building things. Um, I've done some, you know, uh, blaster exchanges where it's you just kind of vaguely say, I'm going to send you a rapid strike, or, you know, whatever, so you make something roughly equivalent. Um, I have sent you some of my favorite Halo figurines. I hope you like them. They are completely customizable and come apart for easy storage. 
So I was wondering, among the list, are uh, there are two integrations. I was wondering if you could build them for me. I was also wondering if I sent you three blasters I want integrated, how much would it cost to be reduced? Anyways, I hope things are going well for you. Until the next time we speak, good luck with the commissions and daily life happening. Sincerely, Josh. Um... Well, as I keep saying, I'm not currently taking new commissions because I'm entirely too busy with so many things that have been going on. I want to. I'm really hoping that this month I'll be able to take at least a commission. Um, I've been working on personal stuff because it's war season now, so I've been working on my own stuff. Uh, I've also been working on Jomo's stuff. I've almost got a shipment ready for him, and it's been like six months since I started his thing, and I still haven't gotten anything to him, which makes me feel like a schmuck. So... Keep that in mind. Let's see. Integration ideas. A raven plus firefly plus long strike barrel with LEDs. Where does the firefly go? Uh, full auto strife plus retaliator stock plus retaliator grip plus banana magazine, long range scope, holographic sight with part of a rampage shell on and possibly load from the side. I've seen strikes made to load from the top. I've never seen one load from the side. That would be interesting. Rapid Strike Hornet plus Specter Barrel. Sling Fire plus Full Auto Raven. Use lever to change to burst mode. Raider plus Strife plus Cross Bolts with Mega Dart Launcher. Hmm, I like that one. Cross Bolt plus Strife Full Auto. Right, that's the Strife Bolt that's quite popular. Uh, Rage of Dust. Walcom's Rage of Dust is one of those. I actually had a guy who was working on one in my shop. He got uh, partway through the integration and then just disappeared. No idea what happened to him. Haven't heard from him in like two weeks. Just left his stuff in my shop. Alright, well these are entirely cool. I, I think I played Halo once and it made me horrifically motion sick so I never played it again, but uh, those are really pretty cool. Thank you. Okay. Next. Package. Right. I like the sound of that. Oh, good lord. Lord have mercy. What on earth happened here? Dear Chalo, I first wanted to let you know that you are my favorite Nerf YouTube channel. Every time I see a new video on your channel, I get very excited. I'm sending you this package, my first modded primary that has broken and some springs for you. Also, thanks for responding to my emails so quickly. Am I fixing this? Is that what's going on here? That is... a lovely minimization, really. I hadn't actually thought to minimize, uh... Demolisher. With the, the battery case being where it is, that actually uh, minimizes beautifully. How did I not know about this? Hmm. Yeah, need some shell work. So, uh, back to my question. <laughs> um, is this just a here, have this, have fun with it, make it better? Am I repairing it? What What's, what's the deal here? Because... Um, Many awesome things could be done to this with just a little bit of work. Anyway, uh, ping me, comment, let me know what's going on with this thing. I dig it. All right. Either way, I'm gonna fix that, whether it's for you or it's for me, because that is nifty. All right. And this one thoroughly intrigues me because this one came to my P.O. box from Amazon, which either means that I put the wrong address to put uh, my uh, P.O. box instead of my uh, street address, or somebody has sent me something directly from Amazon. Either of which would be cool. Ew. Somebody has sent me an inbox rapid red. Because I'm sure I didn't order this. That is fantastic. Whoever sent this, thank you. You're awesome. I want to do, I, I've been wanting to do a pair of these painted up in the uh, uh, X-Strike line just because they're svelte, man. They're svelte. Very, very cool. Okay, so that is on the docket for a paint job. And in 
internal modifications. I actually have a friend who has a 3D printer who's printing me all of the cages. I sent him pretty much every STL from the open uh, flywheel project and uh, he's been printing them out and he's got uh, about half of them done now, which is awesome. And I'm pretty sure that that included the Rapid Red. So now that I have a Rapid Red, or another one, now I have two, um, I'm gonna build these into a pair of uh, very wicked uh, primaries. I just got uh, the new um, Michelle motors um, the, the two S ones, and I've got, uh, two S lipos that will actually, I believe, probably fit into the battery housing of this. I'm hoping they will. Um, so that would make for an excellent, very simple modification. Throw the, uh, flywheels in there. Uh, flywheel cage and, and new, new stuff. I need to get more flywheels. I've got motors and I've got flywheel cages coming, but I don't think I actually have, uh, any good stock of flywheels. So, all right, that's the plan for that. Uh, once again, Mod Party tomorrow, gonna be a lot of big names there, it should be fun to watch, stay tuned for that. Uh, if you want to send me anything, my contact information is in the description. Um, either that's where my P.O. box is, also my commission email address, you can use that to just ask questions. Um, don't send messages via, uh, Etsy because I always forget to check those ones. Um, so, yeah, there you have it. If you have any comments, concerns, more comments for the next Q&A, put those in the comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.